This is Snowman at Survival News Online, and today I'm going to show you the Sig Sauer Model 556 SWAT. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of the many features of the gun, and then I'm going to talk about specifically this uh, EOTech setup on the top. More on that in just a minute. As the name suggests, the 556 is a 5.56, just like the AR-15, and it's uh, made by the Swiss company Sig Sauer. This is the SWAT model, which is uh, uh, pretty heavy. It's uh, not made for traipsing around with in the field for miles at a time. It's made for uh, entry tactical situations. And for that, it's very well suited. It comes with a six position mag pull adjustable stock, adjustable for length of pull. And uh, the way these things work is you just uh, set it to where you want, uh, where it gives you a good length of pull and a good eye relief on your optics, and then clamp this. So it takes the play out of it. First thing you want to do when you buy this is get a good buttstock from Magpul. The one you want is probably going to be the Magpul UBR. An ambidextrous safety catch. It comes with this light uh, that you can hold on or you can click it and it stays on. Picatinny rail all the way around, top and bottom, four rails. The top rail goes all the way from the receiver to the gas block. One very interesting feature of the 5.56 is this adjustable gas block. When the gun is clean and uh, operating correctly, you set it on a lower pressure and that's enough to drive the bolt back and load the next round. But if you're in a situation where you're doing a lot of shooting and you haven't lubricated it enough or it gets uh, dirty and uh, so it's not charging the next round, then all you have to do is turn that adjustable gas block and it allows more pressure to drive the bolt back. It's not recommended that you run it that way all the time though because it's a lot of pressure on the bolt. I've also installed a Yankee Hill Machine flash suppressor and receiver for the Yankee Hill Machine 556 sound suppressor. The SIG 556 accepts standard AR-15 magazines in the magwell. If you're going to spring for a Swiss gun, you might as well get a Swiss Army knife as well, which I happen to have here and which you might need in order to open the storage compartment which is a very nifty and roomy storage compartment. What distinguishes the 557 from some of the other EOTechs is that it has the adjustments on the side so that you can set it up with either a night vision scope or in this case a three times magnifier. And it's got a night vision button which uh, turns the red dot sight way down, very dim, so that it'll work with the night vision scope. And then these adjust the brightness up and down. The EOTech flipped aside three times magnifier is mounted on a quick detach mount from arms. You find yourself in a situation where you need the magnifier, you've got it, and then you can very quickly switch to non-magnifying holosight. The three times magnifier is a really good deal because it's actually 3.25, three and a quarter times magnifying. The next step up is the four times magnifier, which is actually only 3.75, but costs several hundred dollars more. So for several hundred dollars, you're only getting one half power more. And uh, if you need it, then you need it. But in my case, I really didn't. It's got a very good eye relief, uh, very comfortable, easy to adjust and get used to. One of the things to keep in mind when you mount the EOTech is that the charging handle is not really long enough to get a good catch on it. You kind of have to hold it at the outside. You get used to it, I have. Uh, you can also get an extension. That's not a problem. Overall, I would rate this one of the very best 5.56 guns that you can get. You'll pay a lot for it, but when you buy a gun, it's not like buying, you know, a vacation where that money is gone, spent. If you don't pay too much for it, all you're doing is you're taking money out of the bank and you're putting it into the gun, and you still have the asset. It's a good investment.